wizard. Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna like my wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I love your wizard. <laughs> oh damn, somebody whoever's on Volume this is was the first low. time it oh wasn't yeah. very more aggression on the top lane. Yaha about to get go down, but White Mom will go down in exchange. This is Void Chronosphere, and the second is arrival of the Razor. Boat connects God. and a cleave off the creeps. Connect with the poison touch onto Yahoo, who's that just being abused by this dazzle. But he puts out some chilling touch, and they get a boat into an axe onto the Necrophos. He goes down. No chance for a grave, as White Mon just gonna grave himself, and there's no disable for him, so he's gonna manage to get out. But and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> you <laughs> don't like underestimate me. Yamaguchi taking an impale and a poison touch, quite a bit of damage from that heal bomb, and Yaha is actually going to get out for once. Wow. Top lane though, Avila getting chased down as well. He has Scythe available if he can go on Chemo, and he will, and he's gonna get a ton of regen from this, and he keeps killing zombies as well. He has 43 HP regen per second, but oh a huge cleave from Carl gonna cut down White Mon and the ghost ship to take down wow. Avila. Fusil Blade has what's been completed on the side 13. of Phantom Lancer, and he's taking quite a bit of damage from this poison touch. Does not have the potential for a time lock because it's all out, but Carl comes four? in, X marks the spot connects as well as the boat but no follow-up damage he can't get the tide bringer off the logic gets oh! cleaved down by his own illusion double diffuse and yamaguchi getting slowed down razor. and the insatiable hunger damage is too much but the zombies come out for each spiderling oh my oh god my there's god. so many zombies <laughs> Dude, just kill him this one attack each. Farm the last hit. Head to head dude. combat. Oh, oh the no! clear from Kanka shuts it all to each other. Lovers star crossed. He's waiting for his moment. Yamaguchi baiting. He knows that this gank is gonna happen. The illusions converge immediately onto the tombstone. Take it down. And Eve also just gonna try to back up. But Nando is here almost with the Chronosphere, but he may not need to use it. He time bashes White Mon immediately. Vlaiku gonna go down as well. No chance for a TP. And he's gonna have to time walk one more time, but gets the kill on the I don't know, dude, it seems legit. Chronosphere onto Phantom Lancer. The tombstone comes out. Looks like he's probably just going to die. And he dies. The Ice Blast not even necessary. In fact, they find Widemon who's trying to grave, but it's only level two grave. The range is not nearly enough. TP is down for another 45 seconds. And he's gonna go down. I'm gonna add this void, man. <laughs> I know. He's bashing some ancients, but I don't care about that. Bot lane. They get the kill onto a logic with the Ice Blast. And now they're looking for Vlaiku as well, the zombie providing vision at this nighttime. Yamaguchi going to follow up, X connects onto the Nyx, the courier is coming in for no- What the hell is the courier? Everyone just ignores it, it doesn't matter, everyone wants to follow down White Mon, who's somehow more important. He's gonna get away, no he's X'd! White Mon decides to just give up and walk away, but he's gonna die. Gotcha, bitch! Or he was just dusted. conveniently okay. leave. Boat is gonna provide a lot of sustain for this dude. This rum is quite a bit. But the scythe, the scythe, the scythe, the scythe. Lol. Stood. Blink dagger next too. Looking to go for the back lines. Likely gets Yules up by this razor. Carapace does quite a bit, but it's not gonna keep Blaiku alive. As Illogic enters into the fight, goes for the doppelganger. Protosphere comes out onto the Broodmother. Razor, stat, stealing some things, tombstone dropped. All H the damage Earth. coming out, the eye of the storm dropping a logic's armor way too much. He's running away. The Chase's Void bashes on the Dazzle. And he's going to finish off the kill onto the Phantom Lancer as well with the Soul Rip. Out onto Yaha immediately, and the more damage onto the Kanka. He's all out of mana pretty much. Vlaiku trying to escape. BKB Broodmother is just being too tough to deal with. The Scythe's gonna finish off the Kanka. Yamaguchi running away with a Blink Dagger on this Broodmother. She wants to fight, and she's doing it so 95 well. 95 seconds on Kanka. He's going to be... There's no way they're going to be able to contest this rush, even though Nando has Chrono another eight seconds. No, you shut your mouth. <laughs> you shut your goddamn mouth. I was saying that, that was a bad play. Yules up onto Nando. Mana, mana burn as well. Chronosphere out. Option for some usage. Okay. Oh. His, his supports are in desperate need of help, though. Down goes the Ancient Apparition before any Ice Blast can come out, but the boat finishes off the Nyx Assassin. BKB Broodmother trying to find something to go on. Kills the Tombstone. Grave comes out onto Dazzle himself as Yamaguchi has perhaps overcommitted. Kimo is going to die to the Phantom Lancer. Scythe comes out. Yamaguchi is dead for Bash 81 comes seconds. Bash comes out on the Necrophos. And they're going to try to finish off Carl. Avilae can't get hit by anything, so no chance for any Bashes. He BKBs. He's looking. Bash comes out on the Broodmother. <laughs> and he's trying to fight. Chronosphere on to Necro getting hit by the tower. Broodmother falling low. He 
does have an Aegis available. And you know what that means. I know what that means. He is He's alive! alive! Ancient Apparition, who gets immediately initiated on Ghost Scepter to survive a little bit longer. Scythe gonna come out, finish off that AA though. Doesn't come underneath the Scythe, so he's gonna live a little bit more. Facehugger going straight for the Tombstone. A lot of stolen damage on the Chronosphere side of the post. comes out onto two. It's on the Dazzle in the next, so I don't know if you care if you're the side of the Dire. Waiku gonna make a run for it. Yamaguchi has so much damage stolen, but no HP to deal anything with it. Broodmother BKB doing so much damage. Down goes the Razor. Yule Scepter onto the Faceless Void. Gonna get follow up impaled. All of his mana burn between the Nyx Assassin and the Phantom Lancer. And four heroes go down on the side of Execration. There are illusions. You have healing from the Necro. You have. Grave from the oh, Dazzle. The Yules, is he going to be able to go back with his X? No, they cancel his X return, so he's stuck in the middle of nowhere. Carl so may have just given this game away. Okay, in comes Yamaguchi. Doesn't want to get too close with that static link. Gets carapace, immediate blink by Facehugger. Shadow wave damage as well. And Take it on me, you know. <laughs> X so. Torn not going to connect. Oh, he actually holds off on the return, so it does connect. Illogic Mantis Siles off. The slow from the torrent. He's gonna scoop his way into the trees. Actually goes for a TP and he's going to be successful. Chronosphere out onto just the Necroforce, but they can't really do anything. The Broodmother is going ham and. Facehugger is just terrifyingly large. Finishes off the tombstone. Yamaguchi can't do anything. Static links the Broodmother, but honestly, you only need one core active. Scythe comes in. Carl running away. Where the hell did Carl go? Oh, he ran away. And he's Glimmer Caped. Nando. Time walks away with that bonus range. Yamaguchi barely trying to get away with the defusal plus the inca incapacitating bite, but he's going to survive. They're trying to finish off the tombstone. They do. Shallow Grave going to keep him alive for a little bit longer, but it's not going to be enough to save him. <coughs> Insatiable sure, Hunger is activated, but it's not going to help. Oh, yeah, the bad thing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Chrono straight Chrono on the Sphere Phantom Lancer. On the Phantom Lancer. Yules comes out from the Nyx Assassin, though, and the stun to follow up with the BKB. Ice West connects, so he's not going to get any benefit from that shrine whatsoever. The grave will allow him to survive for a little bit longer. He's trying to run away, but he's going to get X'd back. He dies. Nando goes to the creep away for some reason. Why is he attacking <laughs> creeps? This armor on the brood mother. She's not going to be able to do anything. Carl, what? Why does he keep killing creeps? I don't understand. Kimo going to go down to this brood mother as well. Yamaguchi trying to fight with his last surviving breath. Shadow Wave going to keep his Avile Necrophos alive for a little bit longer. More illusions marching in one by one. Wow! So 1165 Oh damage. yeah, that was a big crit. The and now I have to do play by play. There's a Chrono coming out on the back line. Necro, they kill the Dazzle. He instantly Ghost buys back Ship because it's SEA. Ghost comes in onto the Broodmother, but she's going to survive after killing off Yamaguchi. Scythe does not do any damage whatsoever. Vlaiku actually going down very quickly. Dyer is actually rocks. looking Get vulnerable. 100 seconds dead. Aegis. Means that... He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! <laughs> yeah, he's alive! He's alive. Facelinger <laughs> comes in. Scythe of Vice onto the Yaha Ancient Apparition. Tombstone on death for the Undying. Immediately gets taken down by the Illusions. One Rax remains before Megas, but they want to finish off these last remaining heroes. Yamaguchi yules oh, himself. Oh, instant bash on the Necroplace. Yamaguchi going to die to the Heal Bomb from the Dazzled. Poison Touch going long range. The buyback on Avile. He does not have a Scythe available. I don't know how he's going to get back into this fight, but it doesn't matter because Nando's going down. He's walking so slow between this Scotty and the poison touch he's just crawling back to his base and he's gonna make it out. Mega clips mega creeps. The have huge crit <laughs> green. Dude, look at these there's six siege creeps hammering <laughs> on this ancient. <laughs> Carl, Big crit. Whoa, on the PL. That was amazing. Literally that no was damage. Wow. The best thing I've ever so seen. So much armor, it doesn't matter. Ghost ship connects. Illogic going to get ice blasted, so he doesn't have any region from his heart for a long while. Gets X back into the fountain area. Grave is not available because Dazzle does not have the mana, so Phantom Lancer will die. Ancient has basically half of its HP remaining. The Tombstone going to get whittled down by these PL. Big Chronosphere out on the two, on the Dazzle and on the Nyx. The two supports, though. Hey. But that's all that matters if that's what you need to keep your carriers alive. Avile going to go down for 120 seconds. Hey. Dazzle down for 90 seconds. It's up to these two carriers. The logic Huge crit coming up from the Kunkka on the Broodmother. It does absolutely nothing. 1182 damage from another one, and they get to drive back the creep wave for a little bit longer. Dog's tail. Carl yeah. is a long ways away from home right now. Impaled, slowed. Chronosphere comes out on the two. Who's he going to focus inside this Chrono? He's hitting spiders. Down goes oh, the no. Kanka. BKB is now down for Nando as well. Kanka cannot buy back. Hit me with that I button, Observer. There we go. Another Sheeps that comes out. Hex up. Down so goes damage. the Faces Void. That is That's Eto it. Gege. Can we see a crit come up from the Kanka? He has buyback. 
90 gold until he has buyback. Looks like this one is uh. Oh, Giga. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's that. Thank. <laughs> Woo! Celebrate good times. Come on, Jenkins. What are you doing? <laughs>